What is up, everybody? Tyler here with episode number four of the 100 Day Hustle. Um, today, I was thinking about we are at just a few minutes shy of 1130 on Christmas Day. So, boom, I still got this video in on time as promised for the fourth episode daily. Um, actually, I came home, I checked my mail and um, they kind of gave me I guess something, something arrived that gave me an idea of, of what to talk about this video. And I'm going to share with you guys the top five tips I have for getting free things and or uh, getting something extra with something you're already c currently doing. And so what is it that reminded me of this? Actually, one of my travel um, magazines came in the mail. Um, so how in the hell does travel magazine remind me of this? Well, um, I did a lot of traveling this year um, just for both uh, mostly business, a little bit of pleasure as well. Um, but I, I traveled through this one and I signed up for a um, rewards program to one of the, uh, the big uh, hotel chains. And actually, I got a few nights stay with that. And my points were getting ready to expire. I got an alert uh, a few weeks back. And says, you know, you got this many points. It wasn't enough for another free night stay. Um, but they had a bunch of different incentives. You know, I can get a freaking you know, T-shirt or whatever. But one of them um, had enough to sign up for uh, magazine uh, subscriptions. Uh, so this one, actually, I got it was a 24-month um, subscription through them. And the reason I got travel, it kind of goes back to what my why is and what I'm doing. Um, and you guys, it's always important to know what your why is. One of my big whys is freedom. I want to be able to work from anywhere, generate enough money to travel at my own leisure. Um, so you know, no, no ton pun intended from the, you know, the Travel and Leisure magazine. Um, but actually, I signed up, I think I got, I don't know, five or six different copies of magazines. Um, so that kind of led us into what I want to talk about here with you guys. Um, so tip number one to get free and or extra perks um, is credit cards. Um, I actually signed up this year with a um, few different credit cards. One of them was gave me an incentive towards airfare. Um, I can't remember the exact perk, but it was like you spend five thousand dollars within you know a ninety day period. Um, you get you know you'll get some cash or not cash back, but you'll get you know um, points to use towards airfare. And I actually, we got a uh, free round trip doing you no, know, wasn't quite a free round trip. I was just shy of a round trip. Um, it was a decent decent bargain though. Um, there's lots of them doing it. I mean, everything from, um, you know, just kind of cash back incentive. You know, I, mean, I saw one that just came up the other day. It was spent $4,000 the next amount of time. Yeah, I think you get, you know, a few hundred dollars back or something like that. Um, and there's, you know, balance transfers are good. I don't pay interest on credit cards. I make do, I do make some of my larger purchases on credit cards um, just for the security's sake of it. You know, if something goes wrong, it's not my money. Um, I should go through the vendor to handle uh, any issues if something gets hacked or something like that. Um, but I never pay interest. I always have a credit card that's at least 12 to 15 months of no interest. Um, and it's getting time. I, you know, I pay it off pretty much every month. If I do have an outstanding balance, make sure that the, um, the purchase has been paid off in full before the no interest pay period ends. Um, because they will hit you with what they call a balloon payment, which is pretty much interest. And it's got off. Well, it's probably like 20 plus percent um, from the, the day you purchase, they'll, they'll backdate it. That's what we call a balloon payment they'll hit you with. So you don't want that for your business and or yourself. Um, so definitely, I mean, the credit card companies, I mean, just check out the websites. There's different ones out there that will compare them. Um, American Express is one of the good ones. My uh, I signed up for one of theirs. My goal is to get, obviously, um, through the different programs. I obviously want to work my way up into the black card. card. So once you get that black card, uh, Life changes for you, I can guarantee you that. Um, tip number two, moving on, we are at, at pretty much the hotels. Um, sign up for their membership. I mean, some have like what they call, uh, you know, reward program, uh, membership program, uh, loyalty, whatever in the hell they want to call it. Sign up for them. Uh, if there is a cost to do it, um, I'd probably try to negotiate. Uh, just to ask if they'd waive it. You know, simple smile on your face goes a long way. Uh, but sign up. I mean, if you're going to be traveling anyways in the next, you know, Few, few months to few days, you know, uh, or excuse me, a few months to a um, few weeks or whatever within the within the year, something like that. Sign up for them. You likely, if you use them enough, you'll get a free free night stay somewhere. Um, I mean, you can actually, I've, uh, I haven't done it myself, but I've seen other people do it. They've uh, generated enough points where they actually negotiate their way. You know, they're going to Vegas to stay, you know, the Marriott or whatever the case may be. Um, so they're able to kind of um, talk their way into a nicer suite or something like that as well. Uh, so I don't know if you're noticing, but negotiation and having a nice smile on your face can get you guys a long way. Uh, tip number three, um, and this is kind of questionable. I know some people might not like this, but I actually make, um, 
a decent part of my business comes from this. Um, that is looking for errors. I actually have a, um, a system set up where it'll scan the internet looking for errors and glitches and prices, and we will buy them out. Um, not all companies will authorize it. Some will actually let it slip through. Um, but I mean, these errors go everything from your retail stores to um, eBay. I do really big on eBay, especially if they're a new buyer. They don't know how to completely put everything in the title. I'm able to uh, search through descriptions, things of that nature um, for keywords that I'm looking for. Um, and airlines, I even see airlines screw up and um, have glitches. I mean, we all do it. Humans are uh, humans are a fun animal and we make mistakes. So I, uh, I uh, able to exploit them and make some money off them sometimes. So use it wisely. Not everybody uh, agrees with that. So just a tip. Uh, number four, and that is asking for um, upgrades on your airlines. Um, so, I, you know, with the, the amount of miles I've traveled this year, I always travel solo. I um, usually carry two items to bring onto the plane. And I'll ask them, I say, hey, I haven't already negotiated up front to ride in business class. Um, I'll say, you know, if somebody cancels or something, is there a way I can get in there? Um, some, a lot of times they'll do it for free or sometimes just for a small fee. Uh, depending on what it is, it's not really worth my time to move up there. But... If, you know, for a small fee, I'm able to get up there and they got, you know, free, uh, you know, fast 4G Wi-Fi or something. Um, it would be on my laptop. So it's kind of, it's worth that for me. Um, tip number five. And I was actually just talking to a colleague about this one. Uh, they brought it up. Um, and it's actually perfect for this time of year, considering that open enrollment for healthcare ended on December 15th. Um, crazy, I still know that's the HR side of me. Anyway, so that ended. Um, so obviously, hopefully everyone's got health insurance and they're covered. But a lot of these health co um, um, insurance companies will actually have some sort of incentive um, linked up with uh, a gym membership. Um, so check your plan, see if it's on there. If not, there are other companies and Google it now um, because right now everyone's waving the, the startup fees trying to get people to sign up for the new year. Um, but there's different programs that are linked. If you got like Excellus, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, or uh, whatever some of the different ones are out there that I can't think of at the moment. I know MVP. Um, if you have a certain type of insurance, you know, third parties will kind of link up together if you can verify it. Um, and you know, for a certain amount of, uh, you know, monthly fee, you can get member gym memberships for all of this. Um, so, you know, might be cheaper. And if you're definitely going to use them, you're trying to get fit for 2018, you know, I recommend checking it out. Um, so there you have it. Those are the five tips to get free and or extra things, ultimately increasing your bottom line. That is the goal. Uh, making you more money, making your pockets better. Um, bonus tip though, I did tell you guys, I actually have two. Um, one I kind of noticed when I walked in my office and it looked like a freaking bomb went off. And it's because people have been buying shit today. I've been out um, visiting with the family, you know, drinking, having some good food. Um, and I just don't have a standard operating procedure, an SOP for certain items. Uh, most of my items are about yay big, uh, size of a calculator and or smartphone, because smartphones are pretty much my bread and butter. Um, which I'm really honing in my skills to buying at the moment. So anything you know, that small, I got, you know, I've got, um, I think, uh, 1,500 or something envelopes. I buy the bubbly poly or bubble mailers. Um, so I know when something comes in, I got, you know, SAP or SOP. Um, from the time I source it, you know, I've got everything written on how to source the product, who to reach out to, um, how to negotiate to, you know, make sure with it's in my buying price margins. Um, till when the product comes into the office, um, how to run a diagnostic test on there. I actually have a 50 point checklist depending on what the product is to go through it. Um, technology obviously will be with 50 points, something, um, I don't know if a doll, I'm not gonna have a 50 point inspection on it, but you get the point. And then from the time, how to store it, how to, um, you know, how to put in the inventory management system, how to, you know, all that fun stuff and then all the way to the out the door. I do not have an SOP and this has really screwed me up this fourth quarter for larger items because I've been buying um, coffee makers, um, kitchen appliances, kitchen aids, um, video game systems. So I almost, I was driving nuts, you know, those things were selling. I had to figure out how to help package it up. Um, and I usually don't buy those items just because of it, but it's fourth quarter, that shit, su sh that shit sells off the, flies off the shelf. I can talk. It's after 1130 on Christmas. So, um, had a long day and I have a mastermind call tomorrow uh, bright and early so that'll be fun. Um, so that's bonus tip number one have an SOP on how to handle your business um, God forbid you drop dead or something happens to you your business seems to keep running 
somebody needs to be able to read this list and uh, base be able to run it. Um, and another bonus tip, bonus tip 2.0. What did I write down here? Oh, I get asked this a lot, and that's free shipping supplies. Um, how to get those? People are asking me how much are you spending in, in uh, shipping supplies. I don't have the bottom dollar uh, number in front of me. It's not much a month. Uh, my biggest cost is tape, um, but I actually get I get an incentive through eBay. It's a quarterly earning based on uh, what what type of store you have. So I get a quarterly spending to get uh, eBay shipping supplies. Um, but 90% of my uh, supplies I'm looking at them right now are from USPS. I get you know large. Uh, Flat rate envelopes, medium, smalls. I get the shoe box ones. I get flat rate, uh, rate A box, rate B box, bubble, poly mailers, um, legal size envelopes as well as the uh, flat rate envelopes. So that's pretty much it. If I can get something that's going to fit in there and I know exactly how much it's going to cost, um, I won't buy it. Or like I said, the small phones, the, you know, if I ship an iPhone or something like that, it's usually six to eight ounces. Um, 10, 10 ounces sometimes it's got like a caser like that on there um, and prices I know a lot of you are, are suffering like me are going up if not did I miss it it might have already gone up I haven't checked my uh, my stats but yes prices for USPS flat or first class are going up and they're going up a decent chunk of change I think I think they did because I just shipped something today and it cost me like four dollars to do which usually was like 360 man did I already go up <sighs> that sucks Anyways, so I hope you guys like that. Tomorrow I'm going to do episode number five, and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do for you guys. I think I got an idea, but we'll see. I'll sleep on it. Um, I do have my mastermind calls, so maybe some uh, some hot shots on there will make, pick my brain after my, uh, my uh, cup of joe in the morning. So there you have it. That is episode number four. I hope you guys like this. Make sure you are hitting that like. Um, it's going to help me produce more content if you guys are liking this and s- subscribe. Uh, definitely if you want to see more content drop a comment below let me know what you think let me know what else you guys want to talk about um so that is that i will see you guys on the other side see ya